Well, praise the Lord. Let's give him some praise. Amen. We give God some praise to God. To God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. You know, one of the things in life that inspires all the great men and women of God in the Bible. Let me just bring this a bit closer here. There we go. Uh, it is called a faith picture. A picture is worth a thousand words. Hallelujah. And when you have a faith picture in your mind, you will have positive words connecting with your thought patterns. You will have good thoughts, positive thoughts, but it all depends what picture you have in your mind. When you have a picture that motivates you, then you will have thoughts that will energize you. And I'm going to just show you a few things from the Word of God, of course. You see, a faith picture can change your momentum in life. God gave Abram, who was beyond the age, and Sarah to have children, a faith picture that they going going to be the father and mother of many nations. God put that picture in their mind. That is right. I'm just looking here at Scripture in Genesis 13, verse 14. And when God gives you a picture, when God gives you a picture, I want you to know that that picture will determine your focus in life. A picture is worth a thousand words, and that picture will determine your focus in life. So when you get a picture from God, God will not show you pictures of attacks. He will not show you negative things that's going to happen in your life because we serve a positive God. God never showed Abram before he became Abraham. God never showed him a picture of Ishmael that he will compromise. He will try and uh, fulfill the promise with basically trying to help God. And God never showed him a picture how he was going to end up uh, for instance, when God said to him, now leave your country, your family, just take those that are close, you know, obviously your, your children, your wife, etc. Take her with you. And, uh, but he took lot with and strife and division broke out. The land was too small. Abraham could not fulfill his vision until the day he went to Lot and said, now you choose where you're going to go. I choose where I'm going to go. And uh, because we cannot, uh, develop our vision because there's argument and strife and so on and so forth. And he had to rescue Lot later from uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. God never showed Abraham that negative picture. He never showed him that. So a picture of faith will inspire your pursuit. Jesus had a constant picture of faith, knowing he was going to die knowing he was going to be flogged and killed and buried, but he constantly will speak his picture of faith. But after three days, I will rise again. Hallelujah. And that is why Jesus could consider the obscurity or the scorn of the cross. He could uh, consider the affliction he was about to face it, it, the Bible says that uh, he considered it as pure joy, as joy. For joy he set before him the scorn of the cross. Because Jesus knew there was a third day. Hallelujah. So what is the picture of faith that is in your mind? 
Here's a, another powerful example. Jacob, you know, was a supplanter, and Jacob uh, cheated other people and so forth. He went to work for Uncle Laban, and then Uncle Laban cheated him out of his first choice to have a wife, and then he had to work another seven years, remember, uh, to get, uh, you know, Leah uh, or his Rachel uh, and so forth. But here's the thing. There came a time where Jacob says, no, I want to do something for my household. And I want to inspire you today. Let this day be a day where you are saying in your heart, I want to do something for my household or for my life. And Jacob spoke to Uncle Laban and says, all spotted animals in the future will be my salary. Uncle Laban said, well, you know, you don't have twins every day, paraphrasing. No problem. That's a foolish request. But what Uncle Laban never realized, what he never realized is that uh, when God is in it and God inspires you to have that picture, you become unstoppable, immovable, and you will always be full of energy, expectation, and you will always be full of, I'm pursuing this. I'm not giving up. I'm pressing on. I'm, I'm not going to be defeated. And there's that picture in your mind that drives your actions, your motivation, and the atmosphere in your mind. And Jacob, after Uncle Laban agreed, he made a picture of spotted animals. He peeled the bark of the tree off, you know, uh, fr from the tree, you know, the bark. He, he peeled that off and he made a spotted picture, placed it in front of the sheep in high season when they were strong. During your season, my season, when we're strong in our worship, uh, that's when you bring that picture, have intimacy with that picture, and the sheep have intimacy with that picture, and they started to produce sp uh, spotted animals, and spotted animals, and spotted animals. Amen. Uh, Jacob became so prosperous and successful and very rich. A picture of faith is what we need in our minds and hearts. Okay? I want to close with this is that uh, your faith photograph will strengthen you through difficult seasons. For instance, let me give you this, and I'm going to close with this. Remember the woman with the issue of blood 12 years in isolation, and uh, she must have felt rejected, spent everything she had on doctors, and, and instead of growing better, she grew worse, and uh, she just was at the end uh, of her wits. Uh, and she heard about Jesus. When you uh, get to the end of your cell, that's when Jesus can become your beginning. And what she heard must have motivated her. She began uh, two or three powerful things. She began to think about what she heard. Number two. She meditated, which is thinking. But number two is she started to talk to herself. If I can only touch the hem of his garment. Number three, she saw the picture, she will be healed. See, that means she meditated, which means she was thinking about this picture of hope now, because now faith has been sure of what we hope for. When you've got a faith picture, you will live out of the zone of hope, and hope always encourages. It is just like that, okay? And so uh, she became so energized with the picture of faith, she spoke herself into stepping out of isolation, stepping out, sorry, out of isolation into an environment that she was 
excluded from because she was labeled as unclean. A faith pitcher does not consider the negative stuff in life. Faith pitcher says, keep going, press on. Do not uh, give up. A faith pitcher is divine energy on the inside of you. Okay, she stepped out. She pushed away through the crowds and touched the hem of his garment. Power came out of Jesus. She was made whole instantly. And Jesus asked, who touched me? And he uh, then spoke to the woman who owned up and uh, told him, and he says, woman, thy faith has made thy whole. I want to encourage you as I'm closing this broadcast right now. And that is, get that picture of faith. What is your faith picture in life? Have a picture, not of defeat, not of trouble, not of hardship. Have a picture of hope in your mind. Because as you think you will become, and that picture of faith will carry you through difficult times. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I trust that you were encouraged through this broadcast. And whatever uh, you have received today, or however these broadcasts are encouraging you, please, Sow a constructive seed. Make out your check to AIM, Box 485, Mount Vernon, Illinois. And bless this ministry. When, you know, when a, a ministry blesses you, sow into that ministry and you will reap a greater harvest. Until next time, remember Jesus Christ is, that's right, is Lord. God bless you. Love you all. Bye now.